running for our friends doing it on the website. All right, let's get another graph up here. And this time, all right, this time my equation is 4y equals 5x plus 8. Remember, my goal is to get the, the y alone. Right now, the 4 is the only thing keeping the y alone. It's attached by multiplication. Oops, I'm not in writing mode. And I will undo the multiplication by dividing by 4. Remember, I have to do it in all three places. It's like distribution. It actually is distribution, not like it. The left-hand side, those will turn into just a plain old y. The 5 fourths, I will not make it 1 and 1 fourth. It'll make the problem more difficult. I will not make it 1.25 or 1 and 25 hundredths. I will leave it as 5 fourths. And if you know we've been doing slope, you're starting to see why. 8 over 4 will turn into 2. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make my T table. This time I'm going to pick 0 for x. I really like to pick 0 for x. Did I mention I like to pick 0 for x? Charity, did you hear that? 0 for x is almost always a really good choice, especially in Algebra 1. All right. Now, try and think to yourself, Alex, what might be some good choices for x besides 0? Hmm. I hope you're coming up with um, 4 and negative 4. Those are some really good choices. They won't always work that way, but they're really good. Why are they really good? Because the denominator is a 4, and I know 4 will divide evenly into negative 4. It'll divide evenly into 0, and it will divide evenly into positive 4. Okay, you can go ahead and pause the video. I want you to figure out um, what the y values are. Mine will pop up here momentarily. Okay, so there are my y values. Hopefully you got the same thing. Check your math. 0 times 5 fourths is 0, plus 2 is 2. That's where I got this one from. Oops, they all moved. Oh, no, get back here. That's where I got the 2 from. 5 fourths times negative 4 over 1 would be negative 5. Negative 5 plus 8. Oh, excuse me, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. I was looking at the wrong equation. I should be looking at this one. And then... 5 fourths times 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7. That's where the 7 comes from. I will quickly graph these. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, negative. Get rid of those little counting points because I don't want them to screw us up. 0, 2, 1, 2. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. I've got three points, and I'm going to draw my line, just like that. Cool. All right, so let me change the way the line looks a little bit, give it an arrow on both ends. By the way, there were some people that chose not to put arrowheads on their lines. I did tell you that. Please remember, I have to mark off if you don't do that, especially in an honors class. All right, there's my line. Now. Hey, wait a minute, I just realized something. What's my slope of this line? Let's see here, what is my slope? Let's see, let's count from point A to point B. Sorry, I don't know what that extra mark there is. Okay, I'm going to count up. I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My rise number is 5. My run number is 1, 2, 3, 4. So my slope is 5 over 4. Do you see it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do you see it? Hmm? Do you see it? Caitlin, do you see it? Mr. Rogers, do you see it? By the way, love the day in the neighborhood. Mrs. Rogers, oh, not Mrs., pardon me. Ms. Rogers, do you see it? Five fours is right there. The number in front of X was five fours. I wonder if that's a coincidence. Let's go to the first problem that we graphed. And let's count our slope. Let's see here, I'm going to call this point A and this point B, and I'll count up 1, 2, and then over 1, 2, 3. So my slope is 2 thirds. Wow, this is crazy. Look at this. Look at, look, 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 look. Boom, 2 thirds right there, staring you in the face. It's 2 thirds. So when the y is alone, the slope is sitting in front of the x number. 
Wow, that is too cool. Uh-oh. I think I'm noticing something else. Let me change colors here. What are the coordinates of point A? In this problem, point A's coordinates would be 0, negative 2, right? Look at this. There's a negative 2 sitting there. There's a negative 2 sitting there. Do you think I could have gone right to the y-axis and plotted negative 2 and then counted my slope? Oh, man, if that's the case, that would be way too easy. Let's check it on the other one. All right, let's see. Point A's coordinates in this one are 0, positive 2, right? Wow, look at this. There's a positive 2 there. I'm starting to get excited. I'm sorry I'm like that. Math makes me very excitable. So what I'm telling you is that if the y is alone, you are in a very special form. You're in a form that is called slope intercept form. Mr. Lawrence calls, likes to call it slope y intercept form. It only works if the y is alone. Y must be alone. It must be all by his lonesome. But when the y is alone, you know the slope and the y-intercept of the equation you wish to graph. In other words, if my equation was y equals negative one-third x plus 4, I could take a graph, lock it in place, and move this equation. It won't move. Move. It won't move. All right, that's fine. It'll work out anyway. <sighs> Plot the y-intercept, which is right here. 0, 4. That's the point 0, 4. It's the y-intercept. It's the place where this line is going to cross the y-axis. I go to the y-axis and I go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, from that point there, I can use my slope. My slope is negative one-third. Which one's negative? Only one of them, right? It could be negative one over three, or it could be one over negative three. Not both of them. Be careful with that. A couple of people made that mistake on the quiz. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll do one of each. I'll go down one, write three, one, two, three. And from the y-intercept, I will go up one, back three, one, two, three. Look at that, they look like they're on a line. Up one, back one, two, three. From here, from this one, down one, one, two, three. And I make a nice, pretty line. This is pretty cool stuff. I don't know about you, but I am super excited. I'm so excited, I'm gonna have to like go get an ice cream cone or something to celebrate my excitedness. All right, maybe my wife will tell me to lay off the caffeine, I'm not sure. All right, so tomorrow in class, we will get some practice <clears throat> solving for y and then graphing and I'll using this slope y-intercept form. All right, this is Mr. Lawrence signing off. Hopefully, everybody got to see both parts, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.